I'm back to fit it so I don't pull like the uh, main story. Side story and then we go to mesh. Here to free battle. Compedium Golden Poem Arc The Final Route At the edge of consciousness, as if you're in encephalion had has been completely switched between others like a flickering cinematograph. Records to records thought to have been lost reappear for the slightest moment. Memories are being restored and briefly. The is a zero dark. The moon and the star from the flowing from space and burned into the moon's side. Are you at peace with this? I must say I must be protected against all external threats. Better be responsible. I mean, he bears all the pride of him for the victor the whole world will understand. Yeah. Bit of a recap. Into the zero dark. Alright, counter alpha. And she awakens. I was the one there. Ah. I'm about to be crushed. Couldn't escape. This happened. How could this happen? This happened so fast. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, so far. I knew you could do it. Please do after all this. Good day and thank you for all your hard work, this servant. The ones in this cavern who killed you. You're wrong. I separated myself into three. You probably gonna press be insane and she would never use that option. I just did. <coughs> Split myself into three parts mind, soul, and body. You must hold on to this memory, even if you forget everything, even if your memory is full of holes. Turn to this memory as you would your very favorite. None of the records from here are not your own. They're, these are memories of you. That is not you. A you that no longer has anything to do with you. A deja vu experience you cannot remember. An event you cannot regain. I'm recording it here, even if you're unable to comprehend it. Alter his memories of our battles together. Sapphire. And her fate. Yes. It was a wonderful dream. Thank you for accepting me as I was. Goodbye, my master. And your will continue on, even if the night seems endless. Chapter 1 After a Long Dawn, um, the Capital of Roses. It's back to where we last left off, I'm assuming. Chapter 1 of Golden Palm Mark. Commence. It's fine if you only catch a piece of this, even if it's only the ending. The time that you spent together with her, the words you exchanged with her, the childish sentiments you felt, those you cannot, those you can forget. 
However, if you are the owner of this burned out shell, there is something that you cannot give away. Don't forget, she saved the world. You will not accept this as the ending. It's not worth try training for a dream, but most importantly, this ending does not fix the root of the problem. In your hand, you have the regalia. By your side, you have a light with a beautiful sword. And you have the future that you just astonishing, astonishingly, astonishingly try to protect. Even if it means splitting yourself into pieces. So carve this deep into, into your heart. What is not the one you must defeat, this time for sure you must spit up in the zero dark among, amongst, alongside her. Her. When I awaken and from my slumber, it felt as if I witnessed a beautiful dream. That was no dream, like a brief slumber. Up to my right, I'm sitting in a chair. Was I sleeping? Sin I had a reason I had my joint take. So I've felt like this for a very long time. I've been like this for a very long time. I see Saber. Um, the one that you said. Have you a nightmare? Am I having deja vu? So I'm going to work on it back to a beautiful home. Thank you, Saber. I I in red sand proudly in front of me. From the bottom of my heart, I felt a sigh of relief. Her golden hair, her center body, the name of this blurry woman. To those whom I have overcome so many battles, it's Saber. Her true name is Nero Claudius. Remember that much, that's good. Why are you acting so funny all of a sudden? She may not seem to be safe so lively. Aside from you, you were flustered. I'm flustered at the next year. I wish for it to be you in the throne. Once in the most wonderful point. And in those moments only. I suppose now is not the time for such things. I have my focus. Are you woke up in deep sleep? Shall I find where you were? Where was I exactly? A brief explanation. Where am I now? Uh, wait, I remember. This is back in the palace. Saber's, Saber's territory. On a throne. I thought I was sitting in a chair. This doesn't seem like a normal chair at all. What I'm sitting on is without doubt a throne. Around me, this place shouldn't be so familiar. This throne shouldn't be so familiar. But yeah, I'm something deja vu here. Here I am in a regal room. Be fitting the throne I'm sitting in, and none of it as surprising as it should be. Curious expression on the face. Wait to haunt you. Shouldn't have been here. I'm still half asleep. I'm just saying he protects the spell that's on your ass. Does I? Saber. I was put back into the stars of hell because I saw it. Emperor Rose, she's your hands. The stars are very talented. My sword sings the melody of the music. I roll like a Vulcan flag. I like your way. Saber. Let the sound and chant and chant and the candy you left in me. I am the finest instrument ever forged. They are spirit of the sword. I am your servant. I have proof from the moon's holy girl has given me this ring. So I can, yeah. A symbol of royal authority over Seraph. Yes, that's right. I feel like I'm. I finally wake up a very long dream. I see people fought for me through the Holy Real War. With a smile brighter than golden flame is is in front of me. The following is so clear, clouding my brain. 
I feel it's starting to clear up. Now I know exactly where I am. This is the throne of the Sovereign of Seraph. Save and I built this place as part of our tribe to reform Seraph in our image. Then I will take the fulfillery step forward. Oh, I must wonder why you're coming by Trunian just now. Yeah, she's curious about that. Understandable. Well, how do we explain this one? That aside, now that we have an honored name and beauty, out of yourself. You fell into a deep sleep the moment you returned from your two week journey. Granted, you have fully rest, but still you slumbered. So my patience expired. Yeah, she's ticked. <laughs> no surprise. I still remember my long dream, at least some of it, but the images are crumbling like, sand ca like a sand castle. What I see, what I see are things that haven't happened in this world yet, and some part of my processing is already starting to write all of its, all of its garbage data. Wait, that's not data. It's garbage. The image. So what does just see exactly? From now I can sense that I saw what to say. I know what's happened in the month's so core. Had I known such things would transpire, I would have accompanied you where you were willing or not. And Archimedes appears. Oh crap! What happened in the month's so core? Not many people would know. In fact, only I and all Seraph had the chance to record it. Had the chance to record it. Why is Archimedes still here? Alright, oh, uh, you were named Sovereign of Seraph. Yeah, that's what he says. But Seraph now suffers from a fatal error. Unfortunately, it's humble your memories, Percy Shannon. How dare you barge through our doors unannounced? State your name and affiliation. As you can see, I am a caster class servant, but I suppose that's not enough information. I want to visit my world to the year. You shouldn't trust this guy. I set my true identity as a token of loyalty. Anyways, I can I am a system of day worker, chosen by staff. So he says. But he probably remembers what happened. System update. System update. Man walked brazenly into the throne room. He's not a human wizard. The particular air on him makes him marks him as a servant. A type of servant. Yes, he is a servant. Archimedes. His voice and his gaze are both gentle, without a hint of animosity. Yeah, right. Let me tell you your message. And you, how can you show me? It's good to see you again. Again? What are you talking about? Yes, clearly. He knows my name. And I think Hakuno might know, might remember him, parts from what happened. Hold on a minute. Archimedes. Are you the Archimedes? That's right. Alright, so you know me then? Oh, what a small world we live in. Our command is calm and his words are easy on the ears. Sable looks suspicious, but she's still listening. I can see him slowly gaining her trust, of course, even with everything that's happened. I still can't believe it. Archimedes is rational, confident, and clear. Who could guess he'd want to destroy everything? But, yeah, we all know what happens later on. More flashbacks. In the previous one, I'm certain now that I've seen that face. I know why that dream was sent to me. That dream, but even now, every, even now it fades and slips my fingers and they're hard to remember. Partial amnesia, man, I hate that. That dream that my own thoughts are trying to, trying hard to write. Oh, uh, it's just some story. I'm sorry, I heard somewhere. Take out the charger. Regardless, you spoke just now. 
that you neither prayed or cursed in me. Why is that? I do indeed. I spent many hours talking to Hishinami. He means so cool. He thinks we don't know anything yet. He starts into his usual spill about the current state of Seraphim. Well, Seraphim might be unaware, but I may have a bit, bits and pieces of what's going on. The 14,000 year system updates, version of the story of the moon cell core, mentioned about the body, mind, and soul, and about how the mind could disappear. I see, yeah. That's why we must take in case. We must merge the reality as soon as possible. My Emperor, the Sovereign of Seraph, forgive my impertinence, but I cannot help but rush the scarlet throne and inform you of this emergency. Your petition is a genius as well as ours. Great scholar, I can raise. Please allow me to show my gratitude. You have done us a commendable service. What happened to the Vigalia was unfortunate, but your rescue of the creator was a righteous deed, befitting a noble scholar. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do, what do I say here? Okay, I already had a decision point. I can't, I can't let him. Well, with bits and pieces of the amnesia. Hopefully I can bring up YouTube right now. The laptop is indisposed. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> 